Hello dear friends, this is Ural Humphreys and I appreciate you tuning in on me again on a 10 minute message from the Word of God and I want to speak to you on the fact today that that uh, Jesus uh, really is all that you need. Jesus Christ is really all that we need in this life. <clears throat> now I'm speaking about the fact of spiritual values. I'm speaking about the fact that we need to know we're not going to live here always. We're just here as strangers and pilgrims in this land, in this life. <clears throat> but we're going to face eternity soon, all of us. And in eternity it's going to be important what we have done with Jesus Christ. Because you see, he's the only one that can get us to heaven. And he's the only one can do that because he's the only one that died for our sins and rose again from the grave. And he wants to come into your heart and he wants you to be a child of God. And he wants to bring you into the kingdom of heaven. And he's really all you need to get there. So let me ask you to pray a brief prayer with me. If you're not sure you're going to heaven. A prayer that asking God to forgive you and Jesus to come into your heart. <clears throat> For the Bible says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. <clears throat> pray this brief prayer with me and mean it from your heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Say, dear God, <clears throat> please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me and paid for all my sins. I'm asking you to come in my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. I believe you rose again and I believe you're coming back. Praise God. Amen. Pray a brief prayer like that and you will live forever and you will know that Jesus Christ is really all you need. Over in the book of 2 Corinthians in the ninth chapter in verse 8 it says this uh, <clears throat> that uh, God is able to make all grace abound toward you that you may always having all sufficiency in all things may be abounding to every good work. And so we see here that, that God is sufficient. He is sufficient for you. Whatever you need, you'll find God is sufficient. Whatever trial and trouble, He's there to help you through it. However dark the night, His light will shine for you and you'll make it through it. I want you to know that God is sufficient for you. His grace is sufficient. I want you to believe it and, and know it and trust God for it. He's all you really need. Jesus Christ is your sufficiency. He will help you. Trust the Lord. Quit trying to work it out yourself. Stop depending upon yourself or even upon others so much and start depending on God. Believe. For the Bible says, He that believes shall overcome. And he that believes shall see the impossible become possible. So trust God and know that it is right. Now not only is, is the Lord Jesus sufficient for you, but there is also safety in the Lord. Over in the Bible in First Peter in the first chapter, it says, Now blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath uh, begotten us again into a lively hope by the resurrection of Christ from the dead. And so he saved you because Jesus died for you, paid for all your sins, and rose again. So when you believe in him, all your sins are forgiven, for he took them all on the cross. And then you believe in him, and he gives you his righteousness. And there is no unrighteousness with God. And so you are you are blessed because the Bible says that Jesus became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. And then it says to, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to an inheritance that's incorruptible, that fades not away, reserved in heaven for you. And so when you believe in Jesus, there is an inheritance in heaven, a beautiful, holy, wonderful, eternal life waiting for you. And it will never fade away. And then it says, We who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation is ready to be revealed at the right time. So you're kept by the power of God. That's, that's oh, praise the Lord. First you have, you have uh, sufficiency, and then you have safety. You're kept by the power of God himself. And that's, that's so important. Somebody might say, well, who cares whether people are, are going to church or not? Who cares whether people are, are going to get right with God or not? <clears throat> who cares whether people are going to pray or not? Well, God cares. 
And I, I want you to know a lot of people care. I want you to know I care. I care for you. And God cares for you. And I want you to know that God loves you and I love you. And I want you to turn to Him and know that you're going to heaven. So we see that not only is the Lord Jesus oh, our sufficiency, he's our, he's our safety, but He's also our security. Over in John the 10th chapter, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and I hear them, and I, they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Jesus said, I give unto my sheep eternal life. They'll never perish. I will hold them in my hand. And so you're safe. You're safe in the hand of God. You're safe in the hand of God. I like the scripture over in Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, verse 2. And it says, When you pass through the waters, you will, I'll be with you, saith the Lord. And through the rivers, you will not, they will not overflow you. And when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, and the flame will not kindle upon you. And so we see the truth that God, in His mercy and grace, has given us sufficiency. He's given us safety. He's given us security. He cares for you. He loves you. And He wants you to walk with Him. All oh, praise the Lord. Jesus is really and truly all you really need. All you really need in this life to get to heaven is found in Jesus Christ. Oh, He's the lily of the valley. I found a friend in Jesus. He's all the world to me. Oh, praise the Lord God. He, <clears throat> he's the lily of the valley. And He's all the world to me and gives me what I need. He's the lily of the valley. In Him alone I see all I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow, He's my comfort. In trouble, He's my stay. He tells me every care on Him to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. Praise the Lord, my dear friend. Trust God, He loves you. Trust Him because He's bigger than anything you need in life. Trust Him because He will furnish you all your needs. He will supply all your needs according to His riches in glory. And so trust the Lord and believe. Believe it's going to work out and it will. Believe His hand is upon you and you have nothing to fear. Believe that He's all sufficient for you, whatever you need. Believe that He's your safety. You're safe. You're safe. And believe He's your security. He's going to keep you, hold you, lead you, and bring you home. Praise the Lord God, and may the hand of the Lord be upon you. I am grateful for this little message, and I believe it's going to be a blessing to your heart. And God's going to use it to bring in glory and to give you strength. Strength to know that He loves you and to walk in that love, even when you don't feel it, but you believe it, and it becomes a part of your life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen.